and welcome. You're watching Viewpoint. I'm Anusha Soni. It's a full-blown power play, or I should say power play. In the state of Maharashtra, Rajit Pawar and his uncle Sharad Pawar are batting it out. And this time, it's about the legacy and fight for NCP. It's about the existence and survival of this party that we know in the present form. At the end of the day, like it has, it has fallen down to the number game. At this point, the numbers seem to be in favour of Ajit Pawar, who claims to have the support of 34 MLAs. Sharad Pawar, in a detailed statement today to the press, has slammed the actions of his nephew. Senior Pawar said that real NCP stands staunchly behind him and he will take this fight to the people of Maharashtra. With the vertical split of the NCP, another regional player is stunted in the state of Maharashtra. The first casualty was Shiv Sena. The hectic political developments in Maharashtra signal the rewriting of Maharashtra's political grammar, which has transformed drastically in the last two years already. Will Sharad Pawar, the first Chanakya of Indian politics, be able to retain his party that he built from scratch? Will this split signal weakening of yet another key opposition player in the run-up to 2024? Our focus on Viewpoint tonight. All right, as we talk about all the developments that panned out through the day, as I said, it was a day with hectic political developments. We have with us uh, on the broadcast, Mohammad Harris Nalapar, Joining us uh, on the broadcast, he's the spokesperson of the Congress Party. We also have Mr. C.S. Jha, who is a leader from the Shiv Sena uh, faction uh, of Uddhav Thakri. And China NCP of the BJP is also joining us. Good evening to all of you. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on the broadcast. I, I want to cut across to you, China Ji, first and take in a view from you. Uh, hectic developments are happening within the NCP. The fight is about what real NCP really is. And that gives me a deja vu of what happened with Shiv Sena. Many say it's all the doing of the BJP. That's what Mr. Sharad Pavar said. Shainaji, am I audible to you? Can you hear me? Could you hear my question? Yes, I can. See, everyone has been speculating about what's happening and what is going to be the outcome. I just want to say that in any political party, if the MLAs or if the MPs believe that they want to change and they want to support a government that is progressive in nature and is inspired by Prime Minister Modi, as we have seen not just in the country, but world over today. Mm. I think that is an entitled opinion of a uh, member of parliament or an MLA. Mm. Having said that, we have seen that the kind of quantum of people who are coming to the Bharatiya Janta Party is something that even we did not expect. And it is not something that we should be replying on because it is an internal matter of NCP or Shiv Sena as the case be. Hmm. But having said that, for those who go on about, oh, what is this alliance? When the Congress, NCP and Shiv Sena came together in 2019, nobody seemed to question that. There was no ideology, there was no thought process, there was no commonality. Hmm. Here, when you have a commonality of development and you have a commonality of a prime minister who has led by example, and in nine years... But China Ji, didn't, didn't you was... and the BJP question the ideology at that point in time? The BJP was the first political player which pointed out that there is no common ideological ground between these parties. And this is Look, surely the politics of opportunism. And if that criticism held true at that point in time... Doesn't it hold true right now, ma'am? Look, 2019, the parties that fought in the name of Prime Minister Modi chose to go with unholy alliances with no commonality of ideology. So obviously we will question that. Okay. Having said that here, this is a free and fair democratic process. If two-third majority or if two-third of a party wants to join the Bharatiya Janata Party and accept the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, is not happy with this, uh, you know, so-called opposition that met in Patna and had nothing to contribute to development or mm. to 2024, mm. they do need to think because they need to reach out to their electorate and if, if it is in the best interest of all to be with the Bharatiya Janata Party and the NDA government. All right. I, it I, is, uh, I, I will take, I in, I, I will take in from a, a word from Fezan Mirza as well. He's with us on the broadcast. Uh, he's from the NCP, the faction which is supporting Sharad Pawar right now. But before that, one more point, uh, uh, Shaina Ji, as we take the opening comments from you in this debate, a lot of these leaders were under the radar of the central agencies, including the Enforcement Directorate. And that was a point that was mentioned by Mr. Sharad Pawar also today. Are the central agencies being used to get the numbers on your side? The allegation of the, of the opposition, please respond to that. Look, the numbers is an internal issue of the party in question. It is not something that you can ask the BJP about. BJP is here in, uh, under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi and uh, Devendra Padnavis 
we are here to serve the people of Maharashtra and we want the state to come back on track. We had seen okay. lots of developmental projects being put in the back burner in the past for reasons best known to the then uh, Mahavinash Agadi uh, Alliance. <laughs> and we are here to set that, stand that corrected. But as far as numbers are concerned, this is an internal issue of the NCP. I want to bring in Fezan, Fezan Mirza also into the discussion. Fezan ji, you heard the BJP spokesperson. We heard what uh, Mr. Sharad Pawar also had to say when he was speaking to the press today. I remember the criticism of the NCP and Mr. Sharad Pawar when this entire saga unfolded with Uddhav Thakre and he had said that Uddhav Thakre did not foresee what was coming he did not have his ears to the ground and that's why this is unfolded being sympathetic to 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 the Thakres but that was the observation that had come in doesn't it hold true for you and your leader today sir first of all uh, this whatever this is is due to say due to the pressure of central agencies only hmm. central agencies, agencies were trying to threaten and due to that threat these peoples go and join the faction of uh, Shindeji and BJP. Mm. But right now the thing is, Maharashtra ki janta is pure ke pure scenario ko bhot alag tarike se dekh rahi hai. Aur aaj jo Sharad Tawar sahab ne apna stand clear kiya hai. Aur apne stand mein unho ne kaha hai ki ab hum log is zulm ke khilaf, iske khilaf ladege. Aur janta mein jakar iske khilaf hum log ab pura ke pura. वो करेंगे और जनता ही इसके अंदर सब जवाब देगी तो महाविकास आघाड़ी को महाविनाश आघाड़ी जो लोग बोल रहे हैं वो लोग ये ध्यान रखें कि महाविकास आघाड़ी इस वजह से और भी मजबूत हो गई है क्योंकि कल कल ही कांग्रेस का स्टेटमेंट है कि उद्धव ठाकरे जी माननीय शरद पवार जी और कांग्रेस के जो महाराष्ट्र स्टेट के नेता है वो सब मिलकर सब मिलकर पूरे महाराष्ट्र में एक झंझावत दौरा शुरू करेंगे और पूरे महाराष्ट्र को भारतीय जनता पार्टी की असलियत बताएंगे नहीं आपका आपका कहना है कि कहीं ना कहीं केंद्रीय जांच एजेंसीज का इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा था तो क्या आप मान रहे हैं कि जो आपके नेता थे कहीं ना कहीं उन्होंने कोई भ्रष्टाचार किया था या किसी दुष्कृत में वो लिप्त थे क्योंकि नहीं नहीं मैं 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 आपको सारी बातें बताऊंगी आप मेरा सवाल तो सुन लीजिए क्योंकि अगर आपने कुछ गलत नहीं किया है तो कोई भी जांच एजेंसी आपको ब्लैकमेल कैसे कर सकती है देखिए ब्लैकमेल भले ही कोई नहीं कर सकता लेकिन नौकरी की वजह से सब लोग बंदे रहते हैं पहली बात और दूसरी बात यह है कि आप ये कह रही है कि सचमुच क्या किसी ने कुछ किया है तो किसी ने कुछ किया है या नहीं किया ये आप मुझसे पूछने के बजाय भारतीय जनता पार्टी के ही पूर्व वरिष्ठ सांसद किरीट सोमैया जी से सवाल करें इस मामले में वो आपको बताएंगे कि जितने लोगों को अभी इन्होंने शपथ ली है उनके बारे में ही आज से दो तीन महीने पहले किरीट सोमैया जी क्या क्या आरोप करते थे वो तो यहाँ तक कहते थे कि मेरे पास में सबूत है और सब कुछ है शायना जी क्विक रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम यू बिफोर आई गो टू द कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड मिस्टर सी एस झा इज वेल आई रिमेम्बर टॉप लीडर्स ऑफ द बीजेपी हैड मेड वेरियस एलिगेशन एंड स्टेटमेंट अगेंस्ट दी एनसीपी लीडर्स इरीगेशन कैम इज समिंग दट द बीजेपी हैज रिपीटेडली spoken about when it comes to the state of maharashtra how is it that all of that is forgotten now look the bharatiya janata party is extremely clear be it the cbi or the ed they are investigative agencies independent in nature now mm. you and me cannot sit on judgment as to who is guilty and who is not matters this is not a judgment it is not a judgment to the courts to decide it is not a judgment this is the thing it is the thing it is the thing various courts various courts of india various courts of our country various courts of our country said that said that in logo ke dwara jo karwai ho rahi hai abhi kuch ek judgment mein hi ed ko ek court ne kaha tha ki 17 din aapne jis vyakti ko jail mein rakha wo bahut hi galat tha ये जजमेंट का मैं आपको हवाला दे सकता हूं जिस तरह से आपकी एजेंसियां काम कर रही है ना वो देखिए थोड़ा सा कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड ऑल्सो मिस्टर सी एस झा इन टू द डिस्कशन मोहम्मद हारिस नालापार द कांग्रेस पार्टी इन मेनी वेज इज अस्पेक्टेटर टू वॉट इज हैपनिंग इट हैपन विथ शिवसेना इट हेज हैपन विथ एनसीपी नाउ समवेयर इट हेज वीकेंड इन अज मैनर दी अलायंस द महाविकास गाड़ी इन द स्टेट एंड एंड आई ऑल्सो आर्ग्यू that weakening of sharad pawar his political party or his political stature has a direct implication on the opposition unity to which the congress party holds the leadership of in many ways mr nalapar ma'am ma'am i would like to start by saying the uh, prime minister of india shri narendra modi gave a, a very long brief 
on the opposition unity, mm. individually targeting each party and talking about the scams done by each party. Mm. Now, one of the main accused of these scams and these, uh, uh, you know, whatever the you know, Sri Narendra Modi ji had claimed was the NCP and Mr. Ajit Pawar, Praful Patel. These are the names that were facing ED, IT, CBI charges. Mm. What happened? Immediately now, as soon as they go into the washing machine of the BJP, mm. they will be washed, cleaned and bought as new netas into BJP. Mm. They should be ashamed of the way in which they are doing politics. Today, Narendra Modi ji stands in one place and says something and the BJP party at the whole does something else. I am trying to ask you one simple question. In just four days after Narendra Modi ji's speech, talking about individual party and the number of lakhs of crores of scams done, he is taking so many scam accused MLAs and people and making deputy chief minister in his party. Hmm. What happened to all those claims and mentions by Sri Narendra Modi? No, while you so have all while you have acts, all the right to ask the question. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying while you have all the right to make those questions that you're making and those are interesting questions I'll have the BJP respond to that but the question somewhere is also on the opposition parties and Mr. Sharad Pawar and the question that I asked for 2024 in fact there was a statement today that, that, that I believe came from Mr. Praful Patel who said he was he See, was in many ways he was in many ways taking a pot shot at the opposition parties who were present at the meeting in Patna saying that there is no unity opposition unity that can really be can that can be stitched in the run-up to 2024 yes Mr. Nalapar go ahead Right. Let me let, 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 let me let me just break it to you today. My friend uh, MLA from uh, Maharashtra was here with me to, yesterday to watch the final of football, Mr. Vijayadit Kadam, mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, Maharashtra people were here. So I asked them, "What is happening in your state? Why is this undue?" Mm -hmm. They said, "See, the Eknath Shinde group, who is already moved from uh, uh, Shiv Sena, mm -hmm. the people are so scared and angry on them that they will not win the elections." The BJP and this Ekna Chinde moment, hmm. movement is scared that they will not win elections in their sitting seats. Hmm. That is why they are expanding their numbers. Hmm. They want to make sure in the next uh, in, uh, two years when they go into election, they will have numbers. Hmm. They are very scared. Today the BJP, Sri Narendra Modi and the leadership hmm. from the last couple of days in center is sitting and doing meetings over meetings and trying to pre the election. Because they know in the next five elections, state elections that is going to come, again Congress will wash them out. Well, the people of India. Well, the do manner not want in which two politics. state parties like NCP India, and Shiv Sena have been stunted in Maharashtra, I'm not sure if they're really worried. I'd, I'd ask for China. China, quick response from you, then I'll bring in Mr. C.S. Jha. I just want to ask for all these people. Mr. Nalapar, I'll come back to you. Listen to what the BJP has to say. Yes, China, go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to ask all these parties that are talking about a united opposition. What does this united opposition have as a vision plan for this country? Hmm. When you have a prime yes. minister that is relentlessly ask, working in the country and overseas has made we are proud as what the economy on track has ensured the best the questions I, I asked you. The best Reply to the questions I asked you, madam. That he's done away with black money, done away with corruption, done away with all China. kinds of... China, can I, can I, can I insist upon... In nature. China, what, what China, is China, the common agenda of this so-called opposition? China, I, 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 I ask... One second, one second. Mr. Nalapar, one second. Mr. Nalapar, one second. Mr. Nalapar, one second. Mr. Nalapar, one second. One second, one second. Let her make a point. China, you've made your point about, uh, you know, uh, the lack of a united agenda when it comes to the opposition parties, how there are various questions of leadership that they have to answer, and all of those are valid points. But there's a sharp question that Mr. Nalapar asked you. The washing machine charge. How come all of them have now shifted sides no, and now suddenly, suddenly caution? The Bharatiya Janata Party has never shielded and will never insulate whether in our party or outside. The Prime Minister has led by example. He has made India proud globally today. And the kind of development work which has happened in the nine years has probably never been seen post-independence. I'm afraid to say that in the days to come, if this is their reaction, you're going to have so many more MLAs and MPs join the Bharatiya Janata Party and the NDA before 2024 because they know that if they're going to their electorate, they need to have something to talk about. And that development Ma agenda I, I, is only... I, I, that right, I have to bring in, I have to bring in Mr. C.S. Jha also into the discussion. Mr. Nalapar, I'll come back to you. 
Mr. Jha, um, this must seem familiar to you, what is happening in the NCP right now. But whatever is happening within the present government in the state of Maharashtra with BJP, NCP and Eknath Shinde joining hands, many argue that Eknath Shinde and his stature or his elbow room to negotiate with the BJP, that has significantly reduced. How do you see all these developments? What is your advice to your partner, NCP, because you have dealt with this crisis? Uh, see, first thing uh, I would like to tell uh, on media itself yes. that uh, uh, the BJP spokesperson telling that it's a triple engine sarkar. Yes. It's not a triple engine sarkar, but it's a trouble engine sarkar. Now, if you see, uh, first thing at the first juncture, what has happened, there is a rift which has arisen between Eknath Shinde. Ajit Pawar as well as Devendra Fadnavis. Hmm. So this rift it's, itself shows that this government is going to fall down any day, any moment. Hmm. And further, what would, uh, we can see that uh, this uh, Chanakya Niti of divide and rule hmm. uh, between the uh, uh, introducing division into a party yes. and uh, doing this kind of divide, division in the party and ruling the state hmm. will not help BJP in any circumstance. Hmm. The people are also watching and seeing that this kind of niti used by BJP is contradictory to the political history of India. Okay. And further, what we can see, uh, basic structure of Hindutva, they have lost. They are now running before the power. They want to retain the power. And in any circumstance, corrupted people are infused into the party of BJP. They are taking uh, shelter of these corrupted persons in the party. Mm. And therefore, they'll have to face these things in 2024. It is very clear that now the corruption lies with the BJP, not with the opposition parties. All right. And basic thing which the BJP is telling that we do not have any ideology or we do not have any development uh, theories. Uh, the opposition does not have any feedback to the public. It's correct. Uh, it's incorrect. And basic thing, if you see, the theory of BJP has lost completely. Well, I will the take BJP on that one. There's some more news coming in. And uh, I'll go back to Fezanji as we uh, get you all these details coming in. This is coming in from the Ajit Pawar camp, uh, the NCP faction. A resolution dated 30th June 2023 signed by overwhelming majority of members of the NCP, both from the legislative and the organizational wing. It was passed thereby electing Ajit Pawar as the president of the NCP. Shri Praful Patil was and continues to be one of the working president. NCP also decided to appoint Ajit Pawar as the leader of the NCP legislative party in Maharashtra Legislative Assembly. The Ajit Pawar camp says that the entire structure of the NCP, including the post of the president, is heavily flawed as none of the appointments have been made in terms of the provisions of the NCP constitution. I want to cut across to my colleague Mayuresh and get more details on this. Mayuresh, put this into context. What does this mean? Absolutely, it's a clear and aggressive step taken by Ajit Pawar camp and it, it clearly shows, uh, if you see that whatever you read out, it's from the press note of, issued by Ajit Pawar's office and it clearly said that the resolution dated on 13 July 2023, 20, uh, signed by over, overwhelming majority of members of NCP, both from legislative and organizational wing, was passed, thereby electing Ajit Pawar as the president of NCP. So certainly it's a very big move because if you remember on Monday, uh, Praful Patel uh, basically made that announcement that Ajit Pawar is a uh, legislative assembly leader for the NCP party. But now this press note has clearly said that Ajit Pawar has been elected as a president of NCP. So uh, it's a power tussle, it continues and this is a very major uh, decision which NCP uh, Ajit Pawar faction has taken and I will say it's a very aggressive step they have taken because they have already moved to EC and yeah. now with this resolution they have made Ajit Pawar as a president of NCP. Back to That's you. a very aggressive move as Mayuresh rightly pointed out. I want to cut back to our guests who continue to be with us on the broadcast. Fezanji, I want to come to you. Ajit Pawar says he's the party president. ये मैं अभी इस विषय पर देखा है मैंने तो ये जो विषय है ये अभी वो सिर्फ कह रहे हैं एनसीपी का जो बायलॉग है बायलॉग के अंदर ये क्लियरली मेंशन है कि प्रेसिडेंट को ही पावर है सारी नियुक्तियों का और सारी चीजों का एंड जो वर्किंग प्रेसिडेंट के नाम की एक पोस्ट है तो दैट इज पोस्ट ओनली बाय नेम दैट पोस्ट डजंट हैज एनी पावर तो ये कहना तो बहुत ही बचकाना होगा कि प्रफुल्ल पटेल जी ने जो पत्र दिया है उस पत्र पर और इन्होंने जो पत्र दिया है उसी पर सब कुछ होगा जो राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष द्वारा नियुक्ति दी गई जो राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष कहेगे जो राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष ऑन पेपर कहेगे 
वही सब कुछ होगा और अभी राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष शरद पवार साहब है तीस जून को अजीत पवार जी बोलते हैं कि हमने पत्र दिया था तो दो जुलाई को ही अजीत पवार जी का ये स्टेटमेंट भी है कि हमारे पार्टी के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष शरद पवार साहब है तो अब आप देखिए कौन किससे झूठ बोल रहा है बट बट ए, एक सवाल और आपसे जानना चाहूंगी फैजान जी कहीं ना कहीं ये तो बोलने की कोशिश की जा रही है की अजीत पवार प्रफुल पटेल या उनके कैंप में जितने भी लोग हैं एनसीपी अब उनकी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी है और शरद पवार को कहीं ना कहीं और जितने भी नेता उनका समर्थन कर रहे हैं दे आर सीन एज आउटसाइड इन सम वे ऑफ द देखिए कोई कुछ भी कहे सिंबल हमारा है पार्टी हमारी है पवार सब के तरफ रहेगा सब कुछ और अगर नहीं रहा तो हम लोग इसके लिए लड़ेंगे हम लोग जहां तक लड़ना पड़े हम लड़ेंगे और हम सब हमारी चीजों पर किसी को भी इस तरह से हाथ जताने नहीं देंगे All right. I want to cut back to uh, Mr. Nalapar and Shaina NC, who continue to be with us on the broadcast. Mr. Nalapar, uh, the, the the BJP responded, and I'm sure I'm not sure how satisfied you are with that response to your charge of washing machine. That as far as investigations are concerned, they will continue. ED and CBI will continue to do their job, and it is not politically motivated in any manner or form. To what extent does that stick with you, Madam? I would like to ask. Himanto Bishbo Himanto Bishbo who is the chief minister of Assam hmm. was in our party had ED charges had pro, uh, cases that were going on jump to your party immediately all the cases went away what is it this is a, a washing machine or no mark my word on this channel today sitting wednesday 5th of july 2023 in 6 months ajit pawar your praful patel all the people that have joined there their cases will be gone and vanished hmm. now tell me madam with what heart do you say that the prime minister is leading by example he is leading by the example that he is running the biggest washing machine in the world wash criminals when they are in the opposition चार्जेस This is the modus of operandi. Hmm. This is the way that the BJP functions hmm. in Karnataka. They put cases on Mr. D K Shiv Kumar. They arrested him. They put him behind bars, but they, he did not budge to them. Hmm. He did not budge to them. He stood up for the right. He stood up for the people of Karnataka. Okay. And I, today, the Congress has won in Karnataka. All right. I need to have a response from the BJP as well. Shaina ji, your time. Please go ahead. I just want to say that you know they can keep on deflecting the argument. The fact is that the prime minister is clearly the most responsible, popular leader that the country has seen, and that has been proven in India and world over. Obviously, people are attracted to his charisma and the development. They are not denying that he is popular, ma'am. And if they are guilty when they were in your party and they choose the right path. I think that should also be welcome. I think you and me cannot sit on judgment. Let the courts decide if somebody is guilty. We oh, will not spare them. Oh, we are so not that in the, anyone. If, if, if so you this put, whole if washing you... machine charge is bunkus. It's uh, it's absolutely hopeless. Next How? year when you go to the election, Madam, let please the touch your heart and tell. Madam, please touch your heart and say what and you are saying. Do you agree to whatever you are saying? When you form an unholy you... alliance just to get power. this we don't even need their support they have come on their own on their own accord saying that we are so inspired by the prime minister that we want to be a part of do 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 all right all right one at a time 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 work is here and seen in nine years all right i i think uh, i think fezan mirza also has a point that he wants to make yes fezan please go ahead one leader of congress in maharashtra one senior leader of congress in maharashtra was facing ed allegations cbi allegations mm. he joined bharatiya janata party and he it is a statement in his constituency 
the statement is on record he said i can sleep very well now i have joined bjp i can sleep very well now i don't have any tension of ed and cbi hmm. what is that hmm. ye sab kya hai hmm. agar is tarah ke statement ye de rahe hai inhi ke neta to is par se andaaza lagana andaaza lagaya ja sakta hai ki kaun kitna pani mein hai aur kaun kiska saath de raha hai the misuse of agency so ye seems to be yes, the key exactly. point that is, uh, unfortunately we have lost that link with china and see i'll try and just reconnect with china and get more details on that story mr ja you've been with us patiently on the broadcast what would be your advice to the ncp as i asked you earlier you have seen this face in shiv sena many people wonder will the thakrees be able to reclaim the legacy and the party from the eknath shinde faction what is your advice to ncp at this point in time how can they fight this battle see uh, the uh, thing is that the bjp is trying to divide the opposition but in this manner they will make every each and every opposition members unite and what will the what will be the result the bjp will have to face a united opposition and mm. which is going to be a future prospect and very soon it will come up mm. and if you see what the bjp has done today they have completely done injustice to the mandate the pattern the public voted for and which is clearly it is shown to the public that their vote does not matter the thing only matters today is that the position and power is being ruled by bjp in any circumstance and they will do it in future also so Mr. the yeah. bjp should now be on a back foot and eventually the opposition will come on roads hmm. and the bjp will help uh, will have to face all the consequences ar- arising there but mr jha the the argument which is being made mr nalapar come in on this point that as far as opposition parties are concerned and i'm talking about the regional satraps or the political parties like shiv sena or the ncp a samajwadi party or an rjd uh this is a story about the stunting of these uh, state based political parties and we are likely to see more of such overtures in the run up to 2024 that only means that the opposition and the unity that the congress party has been trying to stitch together that will be dampened in some way or the other mr nalapar ma'am see there is not going to be any problem see th- there are certain leaders who they will maybe be able to arm twist threaten okay. put cases on them seize their properties pull them up and take them away but the old core ideology against this bjp and against this hate hmm. hatred of politics hmm. nafrat ki bazar hmm. what is happening today hmm. what how my leader rahul gandhi said nafrat ki bazar mein pyaar mohabbat ki dukaan kholna cha raha hu Hmm. that is really what is happening today there is so much of hatred so much of hatred in this society one and so only of, uh, you know negativity that is being pushed okay fezana quick as the, as i as i yes yeah, fezana quick point from you please go ahead ek uttar ncp ki aur se abhi sharat aur sahab ne to kaha hi tha ki inhone jo nafrat ka bazar hai na ye pura ke pura ye nafrat ke bazar walon ke sath mein chale gaye hai अजीत पवार जी और आइडियोलॉजी से अपने सौदा किया हुआ है भारतीय जनता पार्टी को मैं पवार साहब की तरफ से एक ही जवाब देना चाहूंगा कि तूने नफरत का जो ये बाजार बना रखा है तो ये समझता है कि इंसान पराया हुआ है आजाद दिल चीर के दिखला दू वतन का नक्शा मेरा भारत मेरी सासों में समाया हुआ है तो बहुत जल्द आप देखेंगे किस तरह से हिंदुस्तान की राजनीति में बदलाव आए मैं मैं आई वॉन्ट टेक क्लोजिंग कॉमेंट्स में आप सभी से क्लोजिंग कॉमेंट्स लेना चाहूंगी फैजान जी सबसे पहले आपसे आप इस लड़ाई को आपकी पार्टी शरद पवार जी इस लड़ाई को कैसे लेंगे ऑफकोर्स एक राजनीतिक तरीका होता है दर इज अ पोलिटिकल वे टू डील विद सिचुएशन लाइक दीज विच इज टू टेक इट टू द पार्टी वर्कर्स विच इज टू टेक इट टू द पीपल देर इज वन रूट दैट शिवसेना टोक एंड ऑलरेडी अजीत पवार हैज मूव द इलेक्शन कमीशन सो दिस इज बाउंड टू टेक अ लीगल टर्न इज वेल is sharad pawar prepared for that challenge do you have the numbers on your side because it will boil down हम, to the numbers hum apni party ke liye har tarah ki ladai ladenge apni party ke liye har tarah ki ladai ladenge pawar sahab ke sath mein hum log khade hue hain pure maharashtra mein hum pawar sahab ke jitne bhi karya karta hai hum log pawar sahab ke sath mein date hue hain aur aane wale waqt mein hum log bahut karara jawab in logo ko denge ये आपका कहना है दैट यू आर गोइंग टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैम इन इक्वल मेजर लेट मी सी वॉट मिस्टर नालापार हैज टू से मिस्टर नालापार आई आई वॉन्ट योर कॉमेंट्स मोर ऑन द ऑपोजिशन यूनिटी इन द रन अप टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड वाई इंस्टेंसिस लाइक दीज विल नॉट अफेक्ट 
the opposition unity. See, the people of India want a change. They do not want this divisive politics. They do not want this hatred politics. They do not want this nafrat. They want development. And the uh, united uh, opposition that has come together, I think, that, I hope that all the parties like Congress will stand with Mr. Pawar in this struggle. This mm -hmm. is like somebody coming to your house and one Thank fine you. day saying you have become so old. Now this house is not yours. All right, Mr. Mr. C.S. Jha, as we talk about and we close this debate on the note of the fight which is impending before Mr. Sharad Pawar and his political party, what are the stakes of the Uddhav Thakre faction? You are keenly watching and any kind of stunting of Eknath Shinde directly helps you and your party's cause. Uh, see, uh, today what we, we have not surrendered, Thakre Sahib has not surrendered mm. and I believe uh, Pawar Sahib will also not surrender and we believe the Congress will also uh, be with us and particularly in this scenario, what has happened, hmm. everybody is watching. Let us see what will be the future prospect of Maharashtra governance and eventually it will decide the fate of 2024 in India and the Absolutely. nation. Absolutely. And further, the opposition will come on roads and this government will have to face them on road and everybody will see what will be the result of 2024. All eyes on what the Janta Janardhan decides. It's the will of the people that uh, rules in this country. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the broadcast. Faizan Mirza, Mohammed Harris Nalapad and C.S. Jha for joining us on this debate. There's also a reaction coming in from Rohit Pavar from the Sharad Pavar faction. Let's listen in. Now I've been joined by Rohit Pawar. Rohit, uh, just now Ajit Pawar faction has issued a statement, press statement, in which they have said that Ajit Pawar has been made NCP president and this basically uh, resolution was passed by legislative assembly, lead, uh, legislative assembly members as well as members of the party. How do you see this move? See, if you look at this, when Uddhav Thakre, part, Uddhav Thakre Sahib's party was broken, that time, it was broken by BJP. <laughs> and afterwards, whatever script was written by BJP, all the Shinde gut fraction, Neta, Zamdas, they used to use the same script. They started with Sanjay Raut Sahib. They went to Aditya Thakre. And then they came to Uddhav Thakre. Same script has been written for NCB faction, it seems. Wherein they started with Jayant Rao Patil, they would slowly move towards, say, other leaders of party and then finally to Pawar Sahib. But whatever happened in Ekna Shinde Sahib's uh, party or other group or other statements, they were very slow. Slowly they went towards Uddhav Thakre, but in this case, in one day or two days only, it has reached Pawar Saab. So whatever allegations done or someone, a group of few people trying to take control of the party, and in that process doing certain changes, I think they are forgetting Rashtrawadi has a constitution which is more Adhiksha oriented. And Today's Adhiksha, past Adhiksha, and in future Adhiksha is Pawar Saab. So whatever decision he takes are applicable for the party. just want to ask you that this press note says that both... Uh... All right, some latest news coming in. And this is a CNN News 18 exclusive. Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra gave a detailed presentation to the ministers on Prime Minister's visit in U.S. saying that American attention to the Indian Prime Minister was very high. And Prime Minister's leadership was the driver of difference as Modi is seen as a senior world leader who leads with values and has a vision for the country. The presentation was divided into various sections and dealt into the multi-layered bipartisan engagement during the visit, the impact of the visit, the terms of deliberations and also what kind of deliberals or more importantly tangible things have been achieved after this visit. Aman Sharma joining us live on the broadcast. Aman, tell us more about this.
Uh, see, Anusha, the, uh, the Council of Ministers meeting chaired by the Prime Minister happened two days back on Monday, where we now be, we are now learning that the Foreign Secretary, in fact, gave a detailed presentation on the Prime Minister's historic visit to the United States of America last month. What all was delivered from it? What all? How the event went? How the entire visit went? And the points that we are learning that the ministers were briefed upon was specifically on the point that the American attention to the Indian PM was very very high. It pointed out how. Uh, for all three days, the U.S. president was with the prime minister at various events. It also cited how a private dinner was hosted. There were various events that even the first lady came to. Also, the point was made that the PM's leadership was actually the driver of the difference uh, uh, as Modi is seen as a senior world leader mm. who leads with values and has a vision for the country, not just the country, but the world. Also, it dealt with various other, various other matters like the second address through the U.S. Congress, how the extent of the visit, the form of the visit, also, the point that nearly 8,000 Indian diaspora attended various events of the Prime Minister during this visit. So the people to people connect during the visit was highlighted by the Foreign Secretary in this presentation. Also, the deliverables that not just for the visit high on, uh, you know, uh, the substance, it was also high on impact in yeah. the way the various deliverables have to be the defense engagement, the Micron semiconductor deal, the, uh, the jet engine deal. All these, all these deliverables are also briefed to all the ministers on what kind of an historic visit the Prime Minister Narendra Modi went to the US and what all has been brought to the country as a result. Aman Sharma getting us all the details and perspective on that important visit of the Prime Minister. The key deliverables are the tangibles that have been achieved. We continue talking about that story. Slipping into a short break here on Viewpoint. Up on the other side, a shocking video from Madhya Pradesh of a man urinating on a tribal youth has sparked a political fire stop. There's strict action that the state government has taken, but a political debate ensues. More on the other side.